Alright, going into match 5. Once again, all of these videos for this arena session are in a playlist. You can click on the link in the video description to get to that playlist and watch all of these in sequential order. Finding opponent for match 5. We are 3 and 1 for our previous 4 matches. Doing fairly well with this hunter deck. Going for a very aggressive early game. Let's the hunt begin. Warrior may be a difficult target because warriors tend to have weapons, and weapons are really good at taking out waves or taking out numbers of small minions like mine. Weapons get very good value against decks that have a bunch of little minions. Let's see. I don't think I'll need these to start, but these two are good. This is a better hand. Gotta get the carrots, man. Greetings, traveler. Yeah, there. Then you pop all three. Then you go for more carrots, man. You just gotta keep going for the carrots. That's it. Just go for those carrots. Oh, come on. Look at this RNG. Oh, no. Two, two, wolf. What shall I do? Uh, I could kill it. <laughs> um, so does he go for the boar, or does he trade against the buzzard? Let's see what he decides to do. Alright, let's get some carrots. Nope. Those are really big carrots, by the way. Look at how freaking huge that carrot is. That's the foundation block for a building. And this carrot is like, might be bigger than that. Ow, he slammed the bird. Why? Okay, his deck is already proving to be a significant counter to mine. Can't say I'm too pleased about that. Alright, so we got us a decent number of health minion here. He's gonna trade, hopefully. Hopefully he loses his wolf on it. This wolf's doing doing work for him already. Don't kill my bird on this turn. Whoa. Alright, so can I do this and then kill all of his stuff? Can I do this and kill all of his stuff? Can I do this <laughs> and kill all of his stuff? Let's see. I can kill his wolf with this. And then trade anyway. Let's do that. Like I'll do this. And then I will kill his wolf by playing the coin. And then we'll trade here. And after having played the coin, I've got enough mana for this. I'm down two cards compared to his hand. Nice. Back to work. <laughs> All right, a friendly beast plus two plus two and taunt. So we'll do a taunt tiger. Attack him with it to force him to trade? Or should I kill with kill command? Ah, oh, man, I really need some card draw. This hand is not suitable for this. That is one big stealth kitty. Um, let's see. I can attack this and then force him to trade here. Or I might want to go straight for him. Um, then he'll get to keep one of his minions if I do that. One. 
Yeah. This way we clear both. Four four, that's okay. And he armors up. That'll let me trade. Oh, I can just destroy it. And I wonder if the big game hunter has to destroy a very large minion. We'll save it anyway, just in case we need it. Uh, we'll attack here. Deadly shot. Shoot him. Feeling a little bit better about this game at this point. Let's go for those carrots. Yes! Triple carrots. Okay, last time we started by clicking this one and then going down. This time we're going to start in the middle and then... Uh, I guess we'll go clockwise. 6-5, Lord of the Arena. Alright, so if I can get a beast out there, then I can kill command that thing. But I don't have a beast. So, kill command's not gonna do any good. Dang it. Can I give it one attack somehow? Nope. I don't want to trade this. Try this. Okay. Handle it. That's okay because that puts him in range to trade without losing. Well, I'll lose this, but it'll, he'll also lose a minion. But with this beast. this beast on the board, then kill command will kill that. Oh, actually, big game hunter will take him out. I've got the beast in my side. Alright, big game hunter comes in handy. I think for the first time this whole session. Not certain if that's truly the case. Maybe it came in handy once before, but I don't remember. My shield for Argus. But yeah, I think that was the first time it really came in handy. So we'll take four damage trading the big game hunter. Sacrifice one of his taunt minions on the cobra, and then trade there. All right, so I've only got two spells now, so I need a minion to come out here. All right, so now I've got two unleashed hands, which could be very deadly later on. But as is, he's got a leg up. He's got the advantage right now. He's got a lot of damage on board. I can kill command that. And stem some of the damage. Either way, I'm doing this. But I'd rather save kill command for that. So I think I'll take three damage this turn. Just to see... Or three damage, you know, his coming turn. To see what I draw next. Just in case I can get a to get more value out of Kill Command. Alright, let's draw something cool. Starving Buzzard. Not really... Well, the Starving Buzzard will help, actually, by doing this. And if I unleash the Hounds, then I can trade it. But first, I'm going to kill command this, because that's what I was hoping for. I'm going to unleash the hounds and trade this for the high damage minion. Okay. The match is just about even, I'd say. We're both trying to draw something good. We both have one card in our hand at the start of our turns, and are both trying to draw that card that'll give us a leg up. Oh, the Arcanite Reaper, that's a card that'll give you a leg up. Alright, so he's got lethal damage next turn if I don't draw something awesome. This will help. Well, I think that might do it for me, though. Well, he won't have his Arcanite Reaper after this turn. He'll have to hit me with it. And his armor up is going to prevent me from taking him out 
with my hero power. And that's not going to do it. Well played. Well played. Yeah, and I realized last turn I made a slight mistake by not hitting him with my hero power. Oh, level 10. I think that unlocks the last set of basic cards for the hunter. Kill command, nice. Really kind of an essential card for a hunter deck. Alright, so we're at 3 and 2, going into the next match.